Well, the collapse in Baltimore had us wondering about Wisconsin's infrastructure and the state of our own bridges. Megan Lee talked with the Marquette University engineering professor to learn more. The first thought that popped in Dr. Andrew Sen's mind when he saw this video of the bridge collapse in Baltimore was shock. This devastating incident um, left the structural engineer nearly speechless. To see such a, a large piece of infrastructure collapse in less than 10 seconds, I mean, that was, um, you know, scary in a sense. The collapse key bridge is called a truss, which is something Dr. Sen teaches his Marquette engineering students about. We design structures for extreme loads, so we expect the unexpected in some sense. However, the bridge could not handle the impact from the over 900 foot cargo ship. So there are very few bridges in the world where they could withstand a direct hit from an ocean faring cargo ship. That's just an incredible amount of load. Dr. Sen says a more relatable hazard that we have in southeast Wisconsin is maybe truck collisions with lower bridges. So we have see that a lot, say in the downtown area of in Milwaukee, when we have lots of rail bridges that are pretty low. There are over 14,000 bridges here in Wisconsin, and the state says 1,700 of them need to be repaired. Meanwhile, the Hone Bridge had maintenance done this past summer, something Dr. Sen says is pretty common. Whenever we have infrastructure in service for decades, you need to do something to make sure that it's still usable for the next several decades, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a constant battle between kind of building more infrastructure, but also maintaining the existing infrastructure. With 188 bridges in the city of Milwaukee alone, you will most likely encounter one on your daily commute. Dr. Sen doesn't want drivers to live in fear. This is not going to happen every day. It shouldn't be a kind of constant concern for people using bridges. He said horrible incidents like this one in Baltimore typically serve as a learning experience for engineers everywhere to prevent it from happening again. In Milwaukee, Megan Lee, TMJ4 News. Well, all of Wisconsin's bridges are inspected at least once every two years. You can find inspection data and reports for each one of them online. Of course, we've got a link for you inside this story at TMJ4.com.